1st of October and that means it's Hacktoberfest. It's Hacktoberfest season where you need to submit your open source pull request, just four this month. That was actually my first ever event at GDG Cloud. And it was a lot of fun, loads of people. And actually from there I met Amanda and Sav and also Eddie who's in the back who's always helping record super high quality videos and content. Toberfest is the most important month of the year. So what do you do? So what you do is you just have to submit four, that's eight, <laughs> four pull requests uh, and you'll get a free t-shirt from DigitalOcean and GitHub. And it's a limited edition, you can, every year they change. And Microsoft jumped in last year and if you submit, I think it's just one pull request to the Microsoft, any Microsoft repository, and then they'll send you a t-shirt as well, a limited edition Microsoft t-shirt. And they've got, they'll send you stickers in there and a bit of other swag, it's, you know, some other little surprises, and it's really good. I've done it every year, and it helps the community, it helps your CV. It starts the 1st of October. So do, do we have to go somewhere? Can I yes. do it from my house or? Yes, you can do it from your house. So you go to, I don't know the URL, I'll put the link below, but if you, yeah, below, just log in with your GitHub account, HeroFest website, okay. and that's just you kind of signing up and then you have to submit four pull requests. That's it, and then have to be accepted. Seems it's easy. just, exactly. So what Everyone if I, do I don't know what a pull request is, I don't have a GitHub account, can I do it? That's a really good question, I love that. Because even for non-techies, you can sign up for free on GitHub and you can go look at documentation and you can make improvements. You can do help with translations. You, I have friends who Just add some comments? Uh, you can put some comments. It doesn't count as a, as a oh. uh, contribution, unfortunately. I think it is a contribution. So from my personal opinion, it is a contribution. Any value added, be it a question, be it a comment, or just even revalidating some bug, I see that as a contribution. But in terms of Hacktoberfest... How about grammar, correcting grammar? I think it's a great way to start. That's how I started a long time ago. And then recently I was in top 500 open source contributors Woo! in the world. So thank you. Well so done. it just starts off like that. So if it's... Writing tests? Writing okay. tests is even the next level. That's awesome <laughs> because tests and documentation is quite interesting because they're the ones that always get forgotten about when doing open source projects. Mm -hmm. So they're always ones left or last, documentation and tests. So definitely do documentation tests, more than code actually, because everyone wants to write code because it's kind of exciting. It's like, hey, I did this feature. And no one says, oh, I wrote that documentation. But I think there's more value in testing and documentation. I'd rather have nine features that are really well documented, people can really use, it's bulletproof because it's automated tested, than kind of 15 that eh, kind of work, mm. there might be a few yeah. bugs and issues, so uh, yes, do it. So techies, non-techies, everyone, welcome. Everyone, open source is for everyone. And if you need any help, I will be live streaming. I'm gonna try once a week uh, to encourage people on the live stream to contribute to open source. And also you should check out Amanda's channel. She does her channel, her coding channels. Mo more focused on, is on voice. Yeah. Uh, in English, Italian, and Portuguese. Correct. So she mixes it up a little bit, try, again, to try and be more inclusive. And I think that's awesome. I think yeah. it's really good. And uh, when is your next live stream? Um, so I'm trying to do it on Mondays. So check it out on my channel. I've got a few pull requests waiting, but I don't <laughs> want to submit them until tomorrow so they count. They don't count otherwise. So, <laughs> Look at you! Well, I usually, do the, I usually do like way more than four, right? I could mm. do, I'll do four in the first day and I'll try and do like four a day or something. So what do we get when we do the four pull requests? Uh, a t-shirt and some stickers and some other little bits and pieces. Uh, so yeah, limited edition t-shirt. So tomorrow? Starts tomorrow. You got, you got you ready? For October. You got to get four done within October. But it's quite interesting how you can really see the, the, the two types of people in the community. The ones who will do four in the first two, three, four days. And, the, and, the, and not necessarily that's it. They might do a few more, but they'll get it done to make sure that they got it done. Yeah. And then you'll have the others, usually the more senior people actually, on the last day will message me and go, have you got any pull requests I can help with? <laughs> and it's like, duh, 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 it's, like it's the Is last it the day. the senior or the procrastinators? <laughs> usually the, I think people when they get more senior, I think they overthink things. Right. And I think it's just, don't overthink it, just, just pick something and just do it. Uh, and I think, yeah, they overthink things.